This is the first ride on tennis balls. Subscribers asked me to put tennis balls in the front wheel and uh, I've delivered. Two bags from Walmart, eight bucks. This video is brought to you by this, my wallet. I appreciate the views, I really appreciate the views. So how much they weigh? Uh, 2.1 kilograms, that's 36 of them, so I'm not gonna use them all. How much is a tube? A tube is quarter that, but I don't know how many are gonna be able to fit in the front tire, so let's not just jump to conclusions yet. Now here's the most important part as far as the tennis balls goes. As you can see, they're not perfectly aligned, so the rim will shrink and squeeze them a little bit, and hopefully it's gonna keep them a little bit more close to each other, but uh, the tennis ball is not big enough to actually fill up the tire, so the tire is um, 100 wide and this could be a problem and here it is this is the tube i've split it open you can see the talc and everything was inside and then this will wrap around the ball so we'll give another you know a quarter of an inch on each side basically so uh, that way it's going to fit a little bit better in the tire and it's not a bad idea to just lube each individual ball so just make sure that it has lube in it if you're thinking right now that's stupid my wife just buy a moose i already have one it's here Here's a Hoosier tire. Um, this is not a directional tire, so that should make it a little bit easier. The better they will be as far as like longevity. So it looks like it's settled really nice on the rim. You can't put any air pressure in it, right? Because there's no tube. So it has to settle naturally on, on the rim. And um, here's a tire. It's nicely settled on the bead. And it definitely feels like, look at my, my 200 pounds on it, and feels like there's definitely stuff in it. But let's take the bike out and see what's gonna happen as far as that goes. Uh, because um, it is an interesting concept. Uh, I'm about, what, $12 worth of balls, $13 worth of balls. So it's a lot cheaper than moose if it lasts as long as moose. Also, not all of them will fail in the same time. So, you know, it will always bring you home, which is a nice uh, thought to have. Uh, I'm not sure how easy I'm gonna take this uh, tire balls thing. Ah, screw it. I'll tell you one thing, um, first thing I've noticed is that it does feel like I have a lot of pressure in the front tire. A lot of pressure in the far front tire. So, feels like 15 PSI maybe. Especially because I compressed a lot of them in here. So, pressure wise, um, you could see the, you could feel the front bouncing, but I'm also going from a very, very worn, soft mousse in the front, so, and these Hoosier tires are extremely hard, like they're hard tires, so, I couldn't even make that turn. I've started at mile 24, mile 28.5, so almost five miles, and, uh, the, uh, balls seems to be still here. I'm gonna check out my rim lock because it seems to be loose i don't understand why so i'm gonna tighten that one up but uh the balls are still here so how many i have i don't know still yeah this, these things they hit hard so tennis balls are working over time Whoa. Big pinch. It's like fighting a bull. Reminds me of my two-stroke days. Doesn't want to turn. No, 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 no. Come on. Has a hard time turning. That's for sure. Yeah, they do grip well over here on the on the actual street. Let's give it a try.
I gotta walk it. Holy crap. I'm pinned down by this stupid tree. to bite. The tire bites really nice, these Hoosiers. Let's see how it likes to bite on this kind of stuff, like some little crazy hilly stuff like this. I don't really have a line, so I'm gonna randomly go. Yeah, getting up here is not hard, getting down is gonna be a lot more challenge. A little bit more like loose stuff. See how it likes loose stuff. Here the, the, the things are a little bit more like tracky. Still rocking the balls, the tennis balls that after what? Uh, 20 miles maybe today. And uh they all seem to be very intact. There are a couple of very gnarly ledges over here. But it doesn't matter how you hit them, the balls are holding up. Do they have the same feel as a low pressure tire? No. I also have them in a very, very hard tire. So. It is a viable solution. I don't know, man. For 15 bucks, it's cheaper than a tube. For 15 bucks, it's cheaper than a freaking tube. So you got to look at it that way. If they last as long as a tube, but you don't risk having a pull pinch flat, this is actually not a bad idea. 